Hello, power users. In today's video, we'll take a look at how to utilize animated 3D models in Elementor with the 3D model widget and how to play that animation using GSAP Scroll Trigger, another feature by Glue. Let's get started. As we can see on this page, we have this animated jellyfish model. In this instance, we are manipulating the camera view using GSAP tweens and scenes as described in the 3D model widget tutorial, link in the description. But we're also playing the actual 3D animation according to our page scrolling. This is the animation contained within the 3D file. We cannot directly edit this animation in Elementor, of course, but we can control it. Let's see how we did just that. In the Elementor editor, navigating to the base animation settings of the 3D model widget, we'll see that the animation is actually toggled off. This is because if we had toggled this on the animation would have played at all times regardless of scrolling. What we want to do here, however, is to have it play only as we scroll, according to our scenes. To that end, we've set up the scenes in the 3D model widget. Again, this process is described in the first 3D model widget tutorial that we've linked to in the description. However, this time we've also toggled on enable animation inside the animation settings of the scene. Here is where we set the animation start and end point. This is expressed in percentage points of the entire available animation. So entering zero in the start and 100 in the end means this scene will play the entire animation from the start of the canvas to the end of the canvas as set up in the GSAP tween this scene has been paired with. For a more in-depth look at GSAP tweens, Watch the GSAP scroll trigger overview, link in the description. In this case, since our animation loops, by entering 300, we have told the jellyfish to play its animation three times. Our second scene will play two loops, and our third scene will play three iterations again. Let's see what these scenes actually represent in the front end. Scene one starts at the top and ends here. This is scene two, ending here. And this is scene three. So the scenes here not only determine the camera changes and positional translations, but also the progression of the animation proper. In fact, should we toggle off the animation in the scenes, but turn it back on in the base animation settings, we'll see that the animation will play regardless of any scrolling or other parameters set in the scenes. That concludes our look at how we've set up the scenes to make sure the animation only runs as long as we're scrolling. But as we know from the other tutorials, the setup doesn't actually end here. We will need to create a GSAP tween for each scene and set the canvas options for each accordingly. The way to set up the tweens is described in depth in both the GSAP scroll trigger tutorial and the 3D model widget tutorial, which we once again invite you to watch by following the links in the description. But first, let's take a look at the results one more time. As we scroll, the light and positioning of the jellyfish will change according to our scene settings. But just as we wanted to achieve, the actual animation only plays while scrolling through the page. Thank you for watching. We can't wait to see what you will achieve with this super powerful combo between the 3D model widget and GSAP scroll trigger, which has finally brought Elementor to the third dimension. See you next time.